stay away from heat if you want to grow your hair because you don't want any accidents you don't want your hair to be overcooked and then you have did i just say overcooked <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel so i just wanted to do a quick video on how to grow your hair long and healthy but the the main focus on here is healthy not necessarily long i've been natural for 10 years now it would be 10 years in december december 2019 and i'd say my hair is not as long as it should be as you know I think this is probably the length of someone who's been natural for for about four or five years but that is not so important to me because my aim is healthy hair when I first started of course I wanted long hair you wanted to see how you could um, how long you could get your hair everybody was after that waist length journey but I think about five years into it I was done I just thought you know I'd rather my hair is healthy than long and unhealthy and you know keeping on to length that I should really be letting go of so uh, if you want to find out how to grow your hair long and healthy then stay tuned problem is not hair growth the problem is length retention and to be able to retain length your hair has to be moisturized because if it's not moisturized it gets dry and then falls off if you're really on a serious hair growth journey you have to moisturize your hair I'd say every day but if you just want a steady journey you're not looking for you know any ridiculous results anytime soon moisturize your hair every two to three days because most people don't have time to moisturize their hair every day so that is moisturize your hair every two to three days or every day if you're really on it I know a lot of people who hold on to dead ends they, because they don't want to let go of the length and I assure you if you do get rid of the dead ends and the split ends and all the scraggly ends that your hair will actually thank you for it your hair will in turn grow properly your hair will be thicker it'd be fuller and it would just be healthier also when you trim your hair it makes it a lot easier to style um, it makes it easier to detangle your styles come out nicer so these are all the benefits of trimming when you need to so don't avoid the trim guys don't avoid the scissors not trimming your hair is counterintuitive so trim your hair when you need to deep condition your hair every time you wash it and if you're lazy like me then do it once a month so it could be either a moisturizing conditioner or a protein conditioner if your hair is protein sensitive try to maybe do it every other wash then you do a protein treatment and then every other wash you do a moisturizing um, conditioner this helps to put back a lot of the moisture into your hair put protein and all the other nutrients that you may not be getting otherwise so deep conditioning is very very important to hair growth the protein makes your hair stronger and the moisture gives your hair more elasticity so you're able to style your hair without it breaking and your hair will be soft moisturized and supple number four i'd say to do your research and find what products really work for your hair because the last thing you want to do is use products that are supposed to be moisturizing but do not really provide you with that moisture because maybe they're not for your hair type so say for my hair my hair is 4c so it likes thick moisturizing creams now if i go use a moisturizing cream that is for a 3c head person that is not going to work for me because one it'd be very light it won't have as much oils in there and my hair will not really it, it, it won't really benefit my hair as much so do your research find products that work for you and basically 
stick to those don't change your products too much if you find something that works and you know that if I use this this is the results that I get stick to it don't run after every new product that comes out to try it create a routine for your hair that you always follow so you know that maybe every two weeks you're going to wash your hair you wash and you and you thoroughly moisturize your hair you put it in whatever style it is and you know that two days later you're going to moisturize again every night you wear your satin bonnet and so something like that you have a routine a system that you follow for your hair every three months I'm going to get a trim or maybe every time my hair feels a bit limp I'm gonna trim it so something like that to make sure you create a routine for yourself if you don't have one there's so many videos on YouTube about what other people are doing that you can learn from and add to your routine make sure you leave your hair alone some people they can grow their hair by just doing wash and goes but that is for the loose curl pattern ladies for us you need to put your hair in a protective style like this and just leave it for a month or for two weeks and i find that for my hair type for c hair ladies or anyone with a tighter coily curl pattern your hair thrives when you leave it alone honestly i find that when i'm doing different styles and doing this and doing pulling it here and there my hair doesn't thrive as much because you're pulling out a lot of hairs that are not really due to come out you're over manipulating your hair so it's breaking you're applying too much combing too much this and that just leave it alone and it will grow the last point is to avoid heat like the plague if you want to grow your hair avoid heat at all cost for me i rarely rarely ever 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 use heat i rarely blow dry my hair and my hair always always air dries i always air dry my hair so stay away from heat if you want to grow your hair because you don't want any accidents you don't want your hair to be overcooked and then you have did i just say overcooked <laughs> you don't want your hair to to get damaged and then you have to cut it which then sets you back to square one so avoid heat and if you do all these things you will be good you'll be able to grow healthy first and then long hair because if the hair is not healthy it's not going to grow so remember that healthy over length let me know any other tips that you've got for growing long hair and thank you for watching if you've not subscribed subscribe and i shall see you in my next video thank you for watching bye